What is up, YouTube? Guys, Jericho426 coming at you with another Marvel Contest of Champions guide. Today, guys, we are going to be diving into the new Mystic Champion of the game, Purgatory. But before we get into the guide, I wanted to say a massive, massive thank you for all the support on the channel, guys. We just hit 200 subscribers over the weekend. We gained 100 subscribers over the past month guys that is crazy growth compared to where we were before thank you guys so so much please uh, continue to hit that subscribe button if you do want to stay up to date on all future guides if you're not subscribed already guys um, we're trying to grow this channel and uh, trying to add in as much fun content as we can and as much informative content as we can I know a lot of you guys have reached out and said thank you for the guides they're really helping me to play all these new champions and that's what I'm here for guys just trying to help you guys out uh, because I know uh, how lost I felt sometimes in the past when searching for uh, guides of my own so uh, guys yes please subscribe to the channel please hit the little thumbs up button let me know are there any older champions right now or buff champions uh, that we haven't covered yet that you want to see a guide to if there is anybody that you can't find any good information on throw it in the comments Let me know who you'd like to see and I will get you at a guide as fast and as quickly as I can guys But again, thank you so much for the support, but without further ado guys. Here is the ultimate guide how to play purgatory Purgatory has increased energy resistance and is immune to incinerate debuffs. All of her attacks deal energy damage instead of physical damage, so consider your fights carefully. You may not want to take her into a fight against Captain Marvel Movie or Havoc. Her basic combat power rate is decreased by 40%. Well-timed blocks and basic hits from either champion grant 5 Bloodthirst. Bloodthirst falls off over time. It will fall faster the longer it has been since it last increased and it will fall slower for each buff on the opponent and during special attacks. Gaining any Bloodthirst grants up to 9% of a bar of power over 1.5 seconds, and this is based on the level of Bloodthirst. When Bloodthirst reaches 100, Purgatory activates Demonic Rampage for 15 seconds. Demonic Rampage will increase her overall attack rating. Demonic Rampage is paused during special attacks and for 3 seconds when she feels a bar of power. While in Demonic Rampage, striking with a second medium attack will consume 50% of a bar of power to incinerate the opponent for 4 seconds. On activation of Special 1, Purgatory gains 25 Bloodthirst. If activated during Demonic Rampage, each hit regenerates 10% of the damage dealt. The final hit of the Special 2 will inflict a Degeneration debuff for 6 seconds. If this Special is activated during Demonic Rampage, it becomes passively unblockable. Using the Special 3, Purgatory will gain a non-stacking power gain buff granting 100% of max power over 35 seconds. If the opponent's soul is captured, deal 4% of their max health in direct damage. As Purgatory gains power, she steals the opponent's soul, gaining one soul shard when filling a bar of power. At 9 shards, she captures the soul, inflicting an indefinite passive neutralize, which reduces buff ability accuracy by 65%. Winning the fight after capturing a soul permanently activates class soul abilities for the next two fights. You cannot stack duplicate abilities. Using the Mystic class ability, when an opponent activates a special attack, Purgatory will passively regenerate 60% of the damage taken from blocked hits for 6 seconds. 
Using the Cosmic ability, when filling a bar of power, nullify one buff off the opponent. If a buff is nullified, gain a 2 second unblockable. For Tech Souls, when filling a bar of power, inflict a non-stacking armor break for 6 seconds. Using the Mutant Soul ability, when an opponent activates a special attack, you will power steal 66% of their remaining power, granting 100% of the power stolen to Purgatory. For skill abilities, when a damage over time debuff on the opponent expires, is purified, or fails to apply, it will inflict a slow passive for 9 seconds. Due to class disadvantage, science champions cannot have their soul stolen. With an Awakened Purgatory, winning a fight during Demonic Rampage or with a special attack will instantly capture the opponent's soul. Her signature ability will also increase the duration of Mystic, Cosmic, and Skill class abilities while increasing the potency of Tech and Mutant abilities. Purgatory's gameplay really does benefit greatly from both her Awakened ability so that she can capture souls either in Demonic Rampage or finishing a fight with a special attack. And also, she benefits greatly from synergies. Using a synergy with Guillotine, Purgatory will instantly gain the Mystic Crossfight Class Soul ability. Uh, and this will last for the entire quest instead of just for two fights. Again, this is the ability that allows her to regenerate 60% of damage dealt from special attacks. This really gives her a lot of survivability, and you'll see in the gameplay uh, how much she will actually gain back, how much health she'll actually gain back from this class ability. The other ones that she benefits from greatly is both Morningstar and Hela. With Hela, Purgatory, she will gain one additional Bloodthirst per class soul that she's captured whenever she strikes the opponent. So this will increase her ability to gain Bloodthirst quite quite a bit. And then her synergy with Morningstar uh, will allow Purgatory to gain a Soul Shard every 25 seconds. So in a longer fight, it will allow you to gain those Soul Shards faster for capturing souls if you have an unawakened Purgatory. Now, her gameplay is fairly straightforward. There is no uh, special rotations you really have to go through, uh, nothing specific, with the exception of once you hit Demonic Rampage, it's really not advisable to finish a combo with a second median attack. Again, you're going to spend 50% of her bar of power to place a fairly weak incinerate debuff on the opponent. While you can increase the potency of this debuff with synergies, it's just not powerful enough to really even use and waste her power. Once she hits that Demonic Rampage, uh, and well, even without hitting Demonic Rampage, she gains power fairly quickly, as you can see in the gameplay. What you really want to do is gain your special three and then fire off your special three to gain that 100% over 35 seconds power gain buff. This combined with her ability to gain power from her regular strikes and her well-timed blocks will put you in a state where you can gain her special three over and over. Obviously I didn't show gameplay fighting uh, the Realm of Legends Winter Soldier. In that you can just basically keep on going through an infinite cycle of special threes but that's really not realistic because most people in the game can gain a special three so that's not realistic you will still have to bait out specials but that being said you can get into a cycle where you are almost using nothing but special threes throughout the entire fight if not special threes then you will gain those special twos very quickly remember that firing the special two during her demonic rampage will make it passively unblockable again this is a very powerful attack and will put a very significant degeneration debuff on the opponent but overall the way you want to play purgatory is you want to gain her special three uh, while in demonic rampage so to gain the demonic rampage just do your normal uh well-timed blocks your parries strike the opponent with whatever five uh, hit combo you want but once you hit demonic rampage you only want to finish your combos with a light attack not a medium attack then go into your special three and you will gain your uh, power gain buff after this you will just continue to rinse and repeat uh, while you're in demonic rampage you will use your five hit combos ending with your light attacks and then get back to your special threes and just throw your special threes over and over or if you want to throw in your special twos every once in a while for some increased damage absolutely do that i will say overall as a review of the character her survivability is very good her utility especially with those uh class soul based abilities 
are very good. They can come in real handy, as you're seeing. I'm entering this fight with three of them active. Uh, they can come in a lot of handy when fighting the opponent. But her overall damage is a little lacking. Uh, her special two, again, fairly powerful. And even though you can go through and get 4% of their health off with a Captured Soul while in special three, it just doesn't seem to really hold up in longer, larger fights. Uh, she's good for shorter and medium fights, uh, but when it comes to really dishing out damage and trying to get down a very powerful opponent, you know, the fights do linger a little bit further. So is she an overpowered, beyond god tier class, you know, mystic class champion? I don't think so, uh, but she is still very good. She's very fun to play. Her, her strikes are very fun. They're very smooth. Overall, she's a fun champion to play, but she is not the overpowered god that some people might expect her to be.